Well, hey guys, today we are taking a look at the Katadyn B-Free Squeeze Filter. It's a tiny little sucker and it seems to be pretty popular these days. In a minute, I'm gonna use it to filter this water that I got out of an abandoned mine shaft in the desert. Then I'm gonna drink it. Stick around, see if I survive. All right guys, today we are taking a deep dive into this teeny weeny eensy weensy little water filter, the Katadyn B-Free. Now it's been on the market for a few years and it's a squeeze type filter mounted to a drink through spout sort of water bottle cap. Instead of filtering dirty water as it goes into the device, these and other squeeze type filters have you scoop the unfiltered water straight into the container and then it relies on your arm strength to convey the clean water through the membrane and into your dehydrated belly. Now, it's really compact and lightweight, but unfortunately it doesn't have the best durability or lifespan. Still, these things are tiny. You could literally carry half a dozen of them in the same space and weight that a single pump like my Katadyn Vario takes up in your backpack. But before we get into performance and suitability, let's take a look at the specs. All right, so the B-Free is a compact squeeze type filter system and it mounts to bottles with a special thread diameter uh, cap. It's only available from certain manufacturers. More on that in a minute. Now, without the bottle, it weighs in at a mere two ounces and has a sort of paltry thousand liter lifespan. It sports a 0.1 micron pore size, which helps to keep all the critters like bacteria and cysts from giving you the heebie-jeebies, but it won't work on the coronavirus, so don't try to use it for that. Too soon? It has a super fast flow rate of two liters per minute. That's really freaking good, actually, especially for a cheap little filter. A lot of pumps and filters only put out about one liter per minute, and a lot also have a larger 0.2 micron pore size. This little guy has a tighter and I guess ostensibly more effective 0.1 micron pore size. The pores are the tiny little holes that let the water go through, not those pesky little things that gave you so much trouble in high school. Now, speaking of it being cheap, you can pick up the B-Free for about 45 bucks with a one liter Katadyn squeeze bottle. Now you can also go down a size to the 0.6 liter bottle for about 35 bucks. They have a dromedary gravity feed style three liter sack now, which you can get for 50 bucks with the filter also. If you're a real cheap bastard, you know, the kind of guy who often spends an exorbitant amount of time searching for a great deal and then find out that the best deal is probably like the second deal you saw on the first page of Google. Three days, two canceled orders, one pissed off wife ago then you might want to do what I did and buy the filter alone for 25 bucks thinking that you can just grab any old bottle to use with it. You can't. You'll quickly find out that there's not really any cheap options for bottles out there. That's because this little guy uses a special 42 millimeter thread size. It won't go on a smart bottle. It's not gonna work with your Dasani or your Aquafina either. That would have been too forward thinking or convenient, I suppose. There is a company, however, called Hydropack, and Katadyn seems to be licensing the bottles, and while their options aren't really any cheaper, they are a bit more varied. I opted for this 750 milliliter collapsible bottle because it's got a neat little trick up its sleeve. It actually collapses down, making the whole bottle body fit in the space between its head and feet like Wiley Coyote. It also seems to be a bit more sturdy than the Katadyn flasks because it's got a hard plastic bottom, so I thought that that might, you know, save me on the trail sometime. I figured the collapsibility would make it nice in my pack, so that's what I went with, but Hydropack makes a ton of bottles that would work with the B-Free in sizes all the way up to four liters. All right, now let's talk about the drawbacks. Well, for starters, everyone complains about these bag failing. Amazon is littered with review pics showing people sticking their fingers through holes and failed seams. I didn't see the same complaints about the one liter bag, so I would opt for that uh, size or just go with the water filter and get the Hydropack branded flask of your choice. And secondly, this thing only has like a thousand liter lifespan. Now that sounds like a lot, but I drink like five to six liters a day hiking in the desert and that's kind of subpar compared to the competition. The Sawyer Squeeze, which is roughly comparable to this, has a claim of a 100,000 gallon lifespan. That's about 375 times the capacity of the B-Free. 
Now you really can't compare those numbers without looking at their testing methodology and frankly, I'm not that smart and you don't have the attention span because well, this is YouTube. What it really comes down to is that you can't field service this thing. There's no way to effectively backwash it. Now, Katadin leans into this and they say that it's an easy clean membrane. Just uh, pull the cap off and run the filter under running water to remove trapped particles. Now, I'm not really buying that, to be honest, because if the particles are stuck in the membrane from being you know, squeezed into it over and over and over again, shaking from the dirty water side probably isn't going to do much to restore the flow. That's probably why they only gave it a two-year warranty and 1,000 liter lifespan rating. Yeah, that Sawyer's looking really good right now. Now, you can screw the top off and they do make a hose adapter for their gravity feed version. So I guess you could try to attach a pump or a hose and backwash it somehow. But I'm thinking that there's a reason that they don't recommend that in the manual. They actually say not to rinse the filter under running water horizontally because it will damage the membrane. That, that doesn't sound too durable to me. Don't run it under running water like from your sink. I really wish I'd made this video before I bought this, to be honest with you. <laughs> so why did I go with this one? Well, I just needed a backup. Last summer, I found myself in a situation where the pump I was using at the time got clogged and refused to be backwashed. That left us staring at a mud hole filled with elk poop about 10 miles from clean water. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I've got some mineshaft water to drink. Oh. Cheers. Well, needs a little more uranium, but other than that, it's pretty good. Needless to say, after the elk poop drinking incident, I resolved to employ a backup system. This little guy is really small. The Sawyer Squeeze really isn't much bigger, but I like the Hydro Packs, and I figured that I could replace my Nalgene with one of these and be space positive on the whole deal. The Sawyer Squeeze is way more versatile, having a thread that will go on a lot of disposable bottles, but it's really hard to make a trail cocktail in those disposable bottles. You need that wide mouth of an algae. You gotta keep your priorities straight out there. I think the Sawyer Squeeze is probably a better option as a primary choice, but if, like me, this is just a secondary backup option, then I think that this system's actually a bit more compact. Well, that's about all I have to say about the Katadin Bee Free and Hydro Pack Seeker. Please hit subscribe if you, please subscribe. I think it, it's down there somewhere. Please hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you think in the comments, and we'll see you next time.